Welcome back, everybody, to the newest episode of Ask the Skinny Guy Savior. I'm Vince Del Monte, your host. As you can see, Jim Del Monte is under construction as we speak. Uh, we're just literally a few hours into the um, creation of my brand new home gym, and uh, it's kind of a disaster right now. You can't see much, but uh, truck number one has uh, been delivered and dropped off, or just some of the baby toys, you know, all the little accessories and. Uh, you know, stability balls, benches, and um, you got battling ropes here, TRX, a whole bunch of different handles, um, all the plates. Um, got the Octane trainer over here. So all the heavy duty stuff, all the uh, big boy toys are coming shortly in the next truck. So uh, you guys will get to see all the Atlantis equipment get unloaded. I have no idea how they're gonna get it in here, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure they'll figure it out. So. Um, so yeah, let's get rolling with the questions. As you guys know, the, the whole theme of the show is to help you guys out in a short and concise manner. I've got 60 seconds to answer each one of your questions. I'm pulling these questions right off my Facebook fan page, which you can find at vincedelmontefanpage.com. Be sure to like that page so you get notified, by the way, when I upload a new video or ask for these questions so that uh, you can get your question answered. So. First question is pretty cool. I love, um, I love when people ask these questions and uh, it's a really awesome question. It goes to Maxwell Torres and he's, he says, what are the top five books you recommend relevant to working out, nutrition, health, and inspiration, uh, inspirational slash motivational? So this is a question that I think everybody should ask anybody that they consider a role model, anybody they consider a mentor or somebody they're trying to aspire to be like, uh, asking them what they're reading is such a powerful question because a lot of people become successful based on what they read, what you know. Uh, the more you know, the more you grow. And uh, you know, I always believe that leaders are readers and readers become leaders. So I'll give you guys a couple uh, books. You guys have all seen my office probably upstairs and uh, I've got obviously a huge collection of books. Uh, it's one of the traits that I'm very, very blessed to have both my parents instill in me at a young age. Uh, they both, you know, I was, you know, reading Robert Munch and Berenstein Bears and the little engine that could ever, ever since I could remember from a really young age. And it's a, and then, you know, in my early teens, I got into reading all the fantasy novels, J.R.R. Tolkien, Terry Brooks, Stephen R. Lawhead. I read everything, Star Wars. I read all those books. And now, uh, you know, in my early 20s, I started getting into reading a lot of books on wealth creation, a lot of Robert Kiyosaki. So that's where my first book recommendation is gonna come in. Um, I think I might just go a little over the clock here. <laughs> uh, I think this is just a valuable question that it deserves longer than a minute. But um, I highly recommend to all you young guys, even if you're in a teen, even if you're a teen, to start reading all of the books from uh, Robert Kiyosaki. Anything a part of the Rich Dad Poor Dad series absolutely changed your life. This isn't the specific book I read first. I read his first book, The Cash Flow Quadrant. I read it when I was 22 years of age. One of my father's friends gave the book to me. He was 35 years old at the time. And he and he didn't he didn't work, and the concept of a 35 year old man not having to work was completely foreign to me. I'm like, you're 35 and you don't work? What do you mean? And he was successfully retired off of real estate by the age of 35, and he lived an amazing lifestyle. And he and he gave me this book at the age of 22. Um, long story short, what I learned from that book inspired me to save up uh, enough money to put down a down payment on my first house at the age of 23. Actually, I was, I was 24. And then within five years, I had paid that entire house off and I owned my house free and clear uh, by my, uh, I was 24 plus five, I was about 28, 29 years of age. So the moral of the story is that you can have the same kind of experience if you get the right information and you take action on it. So I highly recommend in terms of wealth creation, creating a certain lifestyle, setting yourself up financially, start reading the Rich Dad Poor Dad books and it'll get you start it'll get you to start thinking about everything you ever thought you knew about money completely differently. So um I'm not a wealth coach or anything like that or, or a financial coach or anything. I'm just sharing you with I'm just sharing resources with you that have helped me. So uh, I think you'll find these books extremely exciting. Even if you're 16 years old, even if you're 55 years old, these books are extremely valuable and uh, they changed my life literally. And obviously now all the people that are related to me. So um, 
check that out. Um, in terms of other books, when it comes to personal development, I'll make three recommendations. Um, this is from the late Stephen R. Covey, um, amazing, amazing man who um, recently passed away. He wrote this amazing book, The Seven Habits of Highly Successful People, probably one of the best books of all time. Uh, if you read it, you'll probably start hearing a lot of the things I've said and you're like, oh, this is where Vince gets all of his material from. Oh, he just rips off Stephen R. Covey. Everybody, <laughs> everybody gets a lot of the stuff that you hear in the personal development realm from the content in this book and uh, I highly recommend you read this book as well. Um, Another book I highly recommend all of you guys, especially if you're an up and coming entrepreneur, uh, even if you're not an entrepreneur, if you're looking to create your own lifestyle, if you're looking to go into business for yourself, if you're looking to um, just really create something different or special in your life, um, I highly recommend you read anything by Seth Godin. Seth Godin is one of my favorite authors. This is one of my favorite books, Lynchpin, and he basically teaches you how to become indispensable. Are you indispensable where you work? Or could you be easily replaced? Um, he's gonna get you to think about a lot of things you've probably never thought about before. Um, easy read, I read this actually, I read this whole book on my honeymoon in almost a few sittings. It was that good. Uh, so, great book, I highly recommend you pick that one up. Uh, the next book is by a fellow named Brandon Bouchard, amazing personal development coach. He's got a crazy story, uh, a really crazy, uh, a really um, crazy, life death experience that influenced a, a change in his life and he went on to write a couple uh, New York Times bestsellers. This is his newest book, The Charge. Again, men, woman, uh, whether you're a teenager, 20s, 30s, this is for everybody. My father just finished reading this, I read it, we both got a lot out of it. Um, and the tagline is activating the 10 human drives that make you feel alive. This is a fun read, I'm almost done it. I highly recommend this one too. When it comes to fitness and uh, health and training and all that, uh, my number one guy who I've been going to for a lot of information over the years is uh, Charles Polquin. Uh, he pretty much pioneered the entire fitness industry. If you have a job as a personal trainer, you have Charles Polquin to thank because back in the 1970s, there was no such thing as personal trainers. There was no such thing as strength coaches. He was one of the very first strength coaches and um, you know, he kind of created a fitness industry. He kind of created an industry that never really existed. So, you know, there's a lot of people probably watching these videos who provide for themselves or for their families as personal trainers. They work in gyms or they work at home. And, uh, you know, this guy pretty much, this guy pretty much started it. And over the last 30 years, this guy's worked with all sorts of professional athletes, Olympic medalists. Uh, so there's something to be said uh, you, you, you have to listen when a guy who's been in the game for over 30 plus years says something. Does everything he say, uh, is everything he say gospel? No, uh, I don't take everything as gospel, but I certainly listen when he has something to say and I obviously ultimately find out my answer for certain things when I test out what I learned through his courses and through his books, but I mean, he's literally got over two decades worth of information in just this one book. So if you're a serious fitness enthusiast, uh, you know, some of his, his protocols and that are considered extreme. So I wouldn't say this is for, you know, the novice lifter. This is definitely for guys who are looking to take their fitness to that, you know, they're trying to push that envelope, you know, they're, 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 I would say they're nine out of 10 or 10 out of 10 serious about their goals. Anything less than his stuff might be a little too advanced for you. Um, there's quite a few. I think you guys asked for five books. I brought down another one. I'll just make one more recommendation. You know, I'm a big believer in nutrient timing. A lot of people ask me, you know, they hear me talk about timing your, uh, your, your food around certain times of the day. A lot of people say, oh, that's bullshit. That's, that's all old school. Those are myths. I can't believe you still follow that stuff. Um, all matters is you hit your calories and your macros. And I absolutely agree with that. You have to hit your calories first. You have to get your macros in second. Uh, those are the two foundational components of a nutrition program. But after you master your calories, after you master your macros, there is another dimension to nutrition and it's called nutrient timing. And if you guys are interested in learning more about this, uh, I recommend reading this book. This is an old book. This was published a long time ago, so I'm sure some of the stuff in here might be a little outdated. Uh, however, there, there is a lot of awesome information in here that um, provides a lot of very convincing evidence that there is a dimension of your nutrition 
that is based around timing your foods at certain times of the days to control hormones, to control immune response, to promote protein synthesis, to uh, increase glycogen replenishment. Uh, there's a lot of, there's a whole host of benefits that are associated with timing your meals at certain times of the day. And if you're interested, if you're a research junkie, if you're a science geek, if you wanna knock yourself out with literally hundreds of studies, uh, just order this book. It's a couple bucks on a couple bucks on Amazon, and um, you can um, you can um, research yourself silly. So um, again, I know not everything in here is fully up to date. This book was written a little while ago, but um, it will definitely get you to start looking at the dimension of nutrition you may have neglected. So if you're somebody who's got their calories down, you've got your macros down, and you're like, okay, I'm looking for a little something else. I wanna take my nutrition to the next level. That's when we start looking at, okay, well, how can we time our certain food combinations at certain times in the day? And um, again, knock yourself out, lots of great information in that book. And I think I gave you six instead of five book recommendations. So. Um, We'll call that a show. I normally do five questions a show, and uh, I, I basically, if this was your first time watching, <laughs> the idea of the show is to keep every answer under a minute. Sometimes I go off on a rant as I just did, so uh, I hope you found that valuable. Uh, I look forward to doing this with you guys again. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you know what to do, and I also put some cool stuff for you in the description box below, as I always do, so go take a look. There's uh, some reports that you can download, and uh, make sure you, um, get that as further reading to continue your education. Remember, the more you know, the more you grow. Until next time, I'm Vince Delmoni.